so it's 10.30 at night and we're having to take Jolie to hospital. You are going on a run. Let's get scratching. I am building a bumper for the back of this big rig behind here. Um, so I've been out and I bought this big hunk of metal. It was in a junk pile at White City Metals. Bought this big chunk of rusty metal and I'm gonna make a bumper out of it. What I'm doing now is I'm wire cup brushing it to get it back to, uh, there's bare metal and I can weld it. Uh, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna put it on the back of the van. So right now we have these panels on the back of the van. Inside of the workshop there, we have another set of two panels that we want to also mount to the back of this van and the only way that I can do that is if I build a box. The box is also going to couple as a place for our actuators to mount. So our actuator is going to mount from about here on the box up to that top corner there on the array and then it's going to lift the array up because right now we don't have the ability to track. I'm also going to mount another actuator around here somewhere and then a third actuator back down to here and that's why I have this fender off. That's what I'm currently working on. Um, I'll try to get some action shots for you. What hurts? My fucking cuts. Oh fuck. Where I just went... <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get a close up? Oh. Yeah, I don't know if this spectacle is for you guys or it's for me. Oh. Probably pretty dangerous. <laughs> probably. I should probably stop, it. stop doing that with a grinder in my hand. While Jolie's grinding up on some grinds, I'm fixing the interior still. Gonna put some shoveling along the bottom here, just like face it off, and then we're about ready to sand everything. Yeah. This is gonna Let's be the box. The we could tack the backside right flush. Flex it out a bit. Yeah, okay. Look at you filming me. Don't look. You'll no. fuck your eyes up. <laughs> Don't be afraid to look at the sun. It, it might hurt a little later. Through, through this lens, it's super chill. Yeah. And then we do the exact same thing, but I'm not looking. I'm looking. I watch it. So, it's so nothing. Nah, let thanks, me see it. Let me see it. Where's It's not working. Because you can get it. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh. It's not hot enough. Nah, it's like low. I think it's too hot. It's just the wrong music, actually. <laughs> motorhead. Yeah, you need some motorhead to do some welding. Yeah, he's not a welder. Eric Clapton isn't. <laughs> that'd be the title um, of this chapter. Eric Clapton's not a welder. <laughs>
days, Jolie and Brett have been engineering the tracking system on our solar array so that we can use these actuators to lift <laughs> them up. That. Yeah. There's no way on that thing. Hopefully it'll work. So welded all that together, welded an attachment here behind the fridge in the van. <laughs> all right, let's try, let's try it. The next yes, one. so the middle one's the only one that fucking sags. Where is that? Is that defective? You have the pins out? Yeah. Are you sure? Because it seems like that one's just taking more weight. Yeah. Well, it makes yeah, sense. Of course. It's the middle one. It's got more weight than no. it's going up by itself. The back one up, right? Now, theoretically, it should go up and stay up. No, so. 10 seconds. What are you doing, Joe? 10 seconds. I am. I'm waiting for Brett to get a beer, and I'm probably going to go over 10 seconds, so I'm sorry. I'm really excited because since we built this van, we've been trying to track these solar panels. Um, by tracking, you get up sometimes up to 40% more efficiency for out of your panel. Very excited about that. It's going to open up a whole new living space for us on the roof. We've just spent the better part of a week mounting these new actuators that we've bought. We just did a little test. Brett did a little test just before, and, and everything seemed like it was working pretty good. So I am ready to set it up a little bit further this time and see what happens when we get it up real high and this is kind of the riskiest part nothing really else to say other than i'm about to switch this thing on and see if it's magic okay. or not up she goes okay your forward one needs to go up faster holy shit oh man <laughs> fuck holy it's shit still going? Still going. yeah it's looks pretty even it's gonna go up heaps man We gotta watch and make sure those are binding, dude. Yeah, stop, yeah. stop, stop. That one's binding. You see it bending? But it's holding. The middle's holding. This one's bound pretty bad, so we gotta relieve that or mount it to the outside, dude. Just it's mount getting, it to the outside. Binding, yeah. yeah. Oh! oh! Woo, woo, woo! That's <laughs> one thing it missing, right? Holy shit! Look at that beast! Yeah, that's binding. Look at its flex and yeah, it's flex. So I just need to cut some more of that to loom. Get it down. It doesn't make me feel bad. I just want to look at it for a little bit longer. <laughs> that's probably what 30. All that hard work comes to fucking yeah. That's like 30 degrees. You're gonna go. Like, you're gonna go way higher. 45. <laughs> Man, it goes up so much higher than that. You're gonna go 45. For How's sure. it looking? It looks solid. It looks, Man, it looks so beautiful. Solid. It looks so pretty. Oh, this is a great shot right here. Dude. Nah, I like the winches better. <laughs> <laughs> what if we put, just dropped it down and put that on the outside or the inside? It's going to be fine. Yeah. Nothing's twisted. You know so should you? we go all the way, drop down? <laughs> Lift the middle one up a little bit. So it's 10.30 at night and we're having to take Jolie to hospital. He's got some shard of metal or some crap in his eye and he's been in pain all day. Like we bought 
insurance. I know where, I know where the ER is. I've been there before. Yeah, you want to just take us. pretty mellow. Yeah. Keegan was like trying to get the tweezers in there. Can you see it? Keegan says he can see like oh, a... Oh, So will your insurance cover any of it? Or is your insurance just like... Yeah, it'll cover it. It's travel insurance. I know, I was there a couple of weeks ago, a couple months ago. Oh, you went the last year. Okay, got it. Ah. <laughs> turn right and you turn and head on into traffic, you know, stuff like that. So why don't you tell me, when I'm here, tell me, you That's know, perfect. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, you know. Yeah, they're all gone. Good. So sometimes they can hide them in that upper corner there. Hey, wasn't that one? That's not there. My eyes are numb. No Feels so good. <laughs> so we are finally leaving Ashland. 